Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. I don't really understand the whole deal with the succession to the throne, right? So, like, the knights, aka Flynn, the guy that we're pretty cool with, want Iota to take the throne. Estelle doesn't seem like she really wants to take the throne. She just wants to, like, help everyone in general. Not just her own people, but literally everyone. And Iota, as far as I'm aware, seems really cool with taking the throne and appears to be doing all of the throne-like things that Estelle is ignoring right now by not being at the castle. So, I don't really see how Estelle hasn't just been like, yeah, I don't want the job, and then Iota step up and be like, okay, I'll be the new emperor. But yeah, it's, I mean, obviously politics are more complicated than that, but feels like they should be able to get that to go through pretty easily. Uh, what, what are you talking about? That's what is happening. Uh, uh. Yeah, maybe. Did I forget to read that sentence? Like, two sentences ago, Yuri said something happening, and then I went on to my little tangent. I thought I read the sentence first, but I think I accidentally skipped it. It was on the screen long enough for you guys to read. But, you're saying I should take her back to the castle. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? Oh, I'm hoping. She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not going to die. That's why I'm going with her. We have main character protection powers. This isn't Final Fantasy VII. We'll all get out of it just fine. Don't worry. Ah, have it your way then. I mean, people have died in Tales of games before, for sure. But I don't think a main character has ever died. At least not in the Tales games I've played. So, that shouldn't be an issue. Actually, I lied. Uh, Zelos die. Uh, that's such spoilers if you haven't played Symphonia. But uh, Zelos can die in Symphonia if you play the game in a very certain way. But uh, Zealous is the best character in Symphonia, so if you specifically play the game to get him killed, then I have no respect for you. Never get rid of Zealous. Zealous is the most important character in that game as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Woof. I said that I would deal with things in my own way, but I let Kimura escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. That was a lot of Japanese whining. I know, I know. We have our guild's job to deal with rather than Kimor. Yeah, I can't just let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. Yeah, we got this, don't worry. He will get what he deserves. Just like Rigo, that scum. All right. The others, of who am I? I'm looking for Judith, Estelle, and Raven. Yeah, those are the three that I haven't chatted with yet. There's Estelle. I feel like Estelle might be the last one we're supposed to talk to, so I am going to save her for last, just in case. Sometimes when you do stuff like this in games, there's a specific person that when you talk to that person, it's like, okay, well, now we can continue with the main story. And then you miss out on talking to the others. So I want to make sure that I chat with Raven and Judith first, if I can. Maybe I can't even talk to them, because I'm not seeing either of them, and we've done a lot of running around. Oh, here's Raven. Hey, Raven. Ah, I can't believe we have to travel with you. That's just rude. What? You ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Moak and at Gasforos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. 
What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're going to be traveling with us, but might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Ah, well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Alright then. What? What is this, this giant fish? Is this the dude? It's the... Dang it. It's this guy again. I'm not, I'm not even reading any of this. I'm, I'm being disrespectful. Did that say fried chicken? I do like fried chicken. You know what? You'd have passed this time. Despite me not liking the chef's existence at all. Where is Judith? There's no way that we get to chat with literally every single character except Judith. That just doesn't add up. I can't go over there. I've missed her somewhere. It's the only explanation. Where could I have missed Judith at? Is she actually in a... This is Fortune Markets Merchandise Warehouse. The president took some items out recently, so I'm looking for someone to help reorganize. What do you say? I, it didn't give me an option to say anything, but I assume I said no. Is Judith inside a building that's locked on Fort? This is where I just talked with Raven, right? Yeah. There's no way that I talked to every single character except for Judith. I had to have missed her somewhere. I accidentally found a lottery gel. Torum Orphanage. What a nice thing to exist. That's locked, okay. But like... Where is Judith, though? This is the Fortune Market HQ, apparently. There's no one in here except for that one guard who I'm not going to bug. I refuse to believe that we get to talk to literally every character and have a little Yuri to them conversation, except for Judith. There's no way. It just cannot be. Can I go up here? Yes. Can I go in here? No. Shop open on first floor. Come check out our goods. Okay. Let's go talk to Estelle and hope that that doesn't progress the main story. Maybe it'll make Judith show up somewhere. Or Judith will show up and talk to us and Estelle. I don't know. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, it could be worse. If you were impressed, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your, bid your bidding. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh, yeah. I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but there are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh is one of those things. It scares me to think about it, but I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. Maybe he just really doesn't like goody two-shoes. It sounds like you've made up your mind. I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? Ah, no problem. Huh, sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack, so I think we'll let him be the one who we vent... I, I can read. So I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. But where is Judith, though? Judith, where have you gone?
she's like she's got to be somewhere nearby. I she had to have been on the screen and I just missed her somehow. You would think she would be right over here, but she isn't. Where has this girl gone? Is she back at the inn? Do I actually talk to everyone except Judith? That just doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh my goodness, I had to yawn. I'm sorry. It's a little bit late. I'm tired. Had a long day. Repeat, where is Judith? Right, that doesn't help me at all. Thanks, doggo. I mean, like, come on. Judith definitely sticks out like a sore thumb. Should not be this hard to locate her. Was she in here? Raven and Estelle are back in here. Where is Judith? Judith, are you in here? It's just Rita. Rita, have you seen Judith? Ah, have it your way then. Alright, cool. Good talk. Your room is next door, right? Yes, yes it is. Huh? If you're gonna go enjoy the nightlife, take me with you. <laughs> where? Where? Where is Judith? Haha, <laughs> the boss, me. Haha. <laughs> I think I have to find Judith to progress. But I actually have no idea where she's at. Uh, your room has been paid for. Alright, sick. Yeah, we have to find Judith to continue the game. And I can't find her. Why, like... What is it with this Tales game specifically that I have difficulty with progress? Ah, there she is! Oh, are you going to look for that Kimor guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk, like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier. Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Alright, sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't meet me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What, you figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. Alright. So you weren't going off to look for Kimura after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. You don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already. I'm just going for a walk. If I happen to stab some annoying blue-haired nerd, then, you know, that, that happens. Now can I talk to you again? Uh, me? Do you think I'm actually concerned about you? Wow. Still number three in the power rankings, though. So I assume now I can call it a night? What's up, Raven? We done? Like, we done for the day? Yeah, yeah, nightlife. Or do I actually need to leave town? I don't like the thought of leaving town as just Yuri. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. I do not have a very good track record in any Tales of game for doing 1v more than one person scenarios. Even 1v1s usually give me a little bit of difficulty. Oh, where are you going? They'll get worried if they find you wandering about. Okay, so I can't leave. What am I doing, though? Yeah, okay. Uh... I'm really glad that the future Tales games are a lot better about directioning than the older ones. Your room is next door, right? Yes, it is, but, like, the game is not letting me... Can I talk to you now? Welcome back. Would you like to rest? Here we go. Just gotta look around for a minute. Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. So, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. 
Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Moke the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Helior. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, uh, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, to be young again, I tell ya. You got something you want to say? Whoa, down girl. To the harbor, then. Alright, everyone is back together. Three and one. Uh, let's... You know what, Raven, now that we got you back after a little while, I'm going to put you in in place of Judith for now, and we'll mix that up a little bit more later on, probably. I do... Man, it sucks having seven people, actually, because all three... Like, Raven, Estelle, and Rita all get shuffled out for Carol, Rapid, and Judith as soon as we get back attacked, but whatever. Just don't get back attacked. Problem solved. Three and one. The two barrier blasty of the city and Nor Harbor were originally a single barrier blasty, or a single blasty, you know, you know what I mean. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes, actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the ocean, or in the sea, rather, between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that Blastia, and if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. Poor Raven. Always getting picked on. Let's go on over to this harbor and see if we can get someone to take us to... What's it called? Desaria, I think? Something like that. The heck is this? Is that a... That's a kitty. Cat! How strange. What's the matter? The Shagathim flowers are only supposed to open during the rainy season, and yet, look, they're already in full bloom. That sounds pretty weird. I know, right? I wonder if someone's been coming here and watering the ground or something. Would just that be enough to make these flowers bloom? Another cause for flowers blooming early could be an imbalance in the air. So you're saying that this place... It's okay. Even if my guess is right, this level of air imbalance can occasionally be found in nature. Plants are simply more sensitive to changes in the surrounding air than humans, and they're reacting to that. We wouldn't want to have that happen in Heliord. What happened in Heliord happened in here. There you go. What the? Judy. Ah, the warehouse is Aerial Blastia is. I can't believe that Dragon Freak would do this again. I'm gonna go see. Oh, Rita. Dragon Freak, huh? What's all this commotion about? Uh huh. It wasn't you? I plead the fifth. Wait, wait a minute. You plead the fifth? They have the they have the fifth minute in this world? It was terrible. There was nothing left for me to fix. I'm sorry for your loss. Ah, the next time I see that freak, I'm going to punch him into the stratosphere. Stupid dragon freak. Whoa, scary. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... It's not causing any of you any trouble, is it? I already told you. I'm not going to do anything that would cause any of you harm. Alright, well, you know, fair enough. I plead the fifth. Oh, I owed her. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. This guy can walk around without, like, eight guards around him? So what's the successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? Ah, he does have someone with him. I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes, and now prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the friendship treaty. 
Probably because of its stupid name. The conditions the Dawn gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes, had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them. But... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. So you mean they report to literally no one right now? Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Ah oh, no, it totally is. Yuri said to just do it, so go do it. Why not? Why is it not as easy as that to become the ruler of an entire people? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the imperial treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War ten years ago. Huh, so that's the real story why we still don't have an emperor. You mean to tell me that literally anyone can find this right now and then boom, they're emperor just like that? And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Don Nemo or Dane Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Yeah. Forget it. It's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? Is it really okay for the Emperor of an entire people to be chosen off of finding a random item that was lost ten years ago? I was just on my way to Heliorn. Ah, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so, too. Master Iota, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. Alright then, let's continue on to getting our ship.